and go. I'm Lily Ann Carey. And I'm Claire Carey. And this is the first three weeks of beginning East Coast Swing. Mm -hmm. And we started, and you know, and we're kind of excited to be here actually. I know. It's, it's so good to be back at home. home. It's like, oh, it's so pretty. So we started off with our basic triple time footwork. So I'll face this way, you can face backwards, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we had our rock step. Rock step. Notice I'm staying forward. And then I'm going to do a triple right under me. Triple step, triple step. It's in a swung rhythm. Ba, 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 right? Ba, ba. Looks like this. Rock step, triple, ba, triple, ba, rock step. That rock step is pushing forward, right? Ba. Then we did this little thing. And we did it because we wanted to remind you guys that you want to lean in. Mm -hmm. Rock ba, step, ba. lean in, fall away. Lean in, fall away. There's no pushback, right, to go to that rock step, right? That would be a lot. Then we changed hand positions to a normal swing hold. Mm -hmm. Hands are low. I'm going to drape over with still some daylight here, and I'm going to let my arms relax down onto my lead's hands so you have that bottom pressure. And so we're leaning in. I can send her back. Mm -hmm. Lean in, mm -hmm. fall away, lean in, fall away. Then we said, any turn that I do normally is going to set up on the rock step. Mm -hmm. Rock step, triple step, triple step, set up. Mm -hmm. That was the case with the outside turn. Rock step, triple, triple, hand goes up. I move out of my way to my right, creating a path for my partner. I haven't gone anywhere until we start tripling. We're both going to triple fully forward. We have fingertip to fingertip connection. Yes. We're going to trade places. Triple, triple, Rock step and hands up upside down. It's totally fine. I'm just going to fix it and then we're going to lean in again. Lean in time. Triple, triple, rock step, lean in. Rock step, get out of the way. And lean in. Then we did a lead turn. I have to get out of the way the other way. It's a turn for me. Rock step, triple, I get out of the way. I open up to give some space. Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. And this hand is going to pass super low. Low flying. And I'm just going to let the hand travel around my waist. I'm not going to try to trade hands or anything. I'm just going to come forward. The hand is in my waist. I know right where it is. I keep contact. As I turn, it slides into my hand. It's kind of out. You go. In time. A oh, rock step. Oh. Triple. Triple. I nice and bend. To the left. I come forward. Turn. Rock step. I can put those two together. A rock step. Triple. Outside turn. Oh, we're pretty open here. Already open. Got a little more. Left. And I could even add that inside turn, uh -huh. which we call a lead turn sandwich. Yes. All right, now we'll do that next week. So we also did an outside turn followed by the inside turn. Make sure it fits. So I lift the hand. I travel straight forward. We have a little boy kind of here. Boy. And then I get out of the way. So I am in the way. I get out of the way. I'm in the way, boing, but I get out of the way, all right? We talked to follows about traveling forward, especially with the inside turn. We can want to kind of back in, but instead we're going to go fearlessly forward. We're going to have a little arc with that triple, which is going to give us just almost a little section. Ta -da, ba -da, ba -ba -da, da. And then I immediately drop that hand back down again, because my whole plate is kind of right down here, right? So all of these things, hands are low. I'm back to home here. Mm -hmm. Outside turn, hand stays up, hand floats down, we do a rock step, we settle back in. And all those times his hands stay nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. We also got in and out of closed position. We did. I'm going to open up. Looks kind of similar to the lead turn, but this time totally. she's bringing me to her. And follows, you're going out to that point of connection. Mm -hmm. If I want to bring them in, I can just roll her in. in. But I have this amazing connection in my body, so I'm just going to hang back a little bit, and then she's going to come in. I'm going to settle in, really think about that rib cage settling into her arm there. I'm really creating that connection. She's giving me that really, really supportive hand on the back, nice comfy couch, nice stable back. We appreciate that. And then I can send my follow out. And I can do that by tripling forward just a little bit. And by guiding me with the hand on my back. So I hang back, bring her in, lift the hand, 
send her out. Notice I'm moving with my follow. It makes it so much easier. We also talked about how late sometimes it's fun to kind of hang into this position. And nice offset feet. That's right. And the only other thing we did was a couple little clo little, little closed position yeah. alterations that are fun. I can come around in front of Claire. Nice gentle turn. Or I can take that triple, the seven triple, and triple back. I look at the elbow, trip, pull back, rock step. And I just let her float away from me on the rock step. Triple, triple, let her float back. And that's how I may get out of it. And that's what we did. Pretty good, pretty good. Right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Woo!